doing this again. Didn't like the angle of the first one. Hey everyone, Jana here. Welcome back to my channel. Woohoo! I'm doing a video Wednesday night. Yay. <laughs> Instead of Saturday because. Well, I'm not gonna be here Saturday. I'm gonna be at my parents' house hanging out with my dog. Because I'm gonna be dog sitting over there. And I was gonna do a video over there because it was supposed to be the March Owl Crate, but that got pushed back. The shipping got pushed back on that because of whatever reason. I was like, okay, well, that idea is out the window. So let's do a tag video instead. Tonight, I'm doing a million other things because I still need to pack for that. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to be doing the No Disclaimers tag video by Catalyst Reads. It's going to be down below the original video whenever I get a chance to link it down below. Not right away because I'm stupid like that. No. It's just a pain because I upload on my phone. So I have to find the link, put it down in the description. But it's harder when I'm on my phone. It's harder when I'm on my phone. So I wait until it uploads and then like hours later I go in there and I add things. Yay. So let's get into the tag video. Woohoo, I'm waiting for my dough to rise, but I'm not sure it's going to rise. At least it's not dry. Yay! Okay. So it's going to be... Which trope on books annoys you? Well, it hasn't been used in a while, actually. Or that I've seen. Or that I've noticed. Is the stupid love triangle, which was popular when I was a teenager. Because when I was a teenager... I was a teenager when Twilight came out, and that's when the stupid Team Edward or Team Jacob. Does anyone remember that? <laughs> like, there was legit commercials for that, like a weird ass Burger King commercial. But I've never been able to find it anywhere. Like, uh, does anyone else remember that? Or is that just like my imagination? Which okay question? Dose. To what writer or writers do you feel are overhyped? That would be one John Green. Because, well, yeah, I don't feel like I'm just not into him anymore, first of all. And, like, he's not as hyped as he was, like, years ago. But I still feel like he's overhyped, like. The writing's just okay, and, like, over formulaic, and, like, all his characters are the same. And I tried to read his newest book, and, like, I legit DNF'd it. I was like, no. I could not finish Turtles all the way down. And then it's like, what is your least favorite, <laughs> like, what is your least favorite book from, since joining BookTube? Heart of All by Stephanie Gerber. <clears throat> I hate that book. That book annoys me so much. I'm sure she's a nice lady. I just hate her book. So I kind of dragged her in my uh, <laughs> review and I feel bad, but whatever. Uh, this book, 26 Kisses. It's stupid. I thought it was going to be cute and fluffy and it's stupid. There's slut shaming. There's non consensual kissing of a gay character. I don't remember. I don't care. Um, I mean, I care, but I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, what else? What's another least favorite book since joining BookTube? I have a lot. One of the books that I read this past month. I hate. It's in my bedroom and I don't feel like getting it because that's where my bookcase is. <laughs> I don't care enough to put one of my bookcases anywhere. Actually, this would be, this is supposed to be a bookcase, this wall, but as you can see, we haven't gotten it and it's supposed to be, yeah, and now we were supposed to get it in December. I'm going to ask my mom about it next time I see her. Um, and then, all right, Whoosh, question four, a terrible ending that ruined an otherwise quality book. Oh, okay. I wouldn't say that it's 
quality. But, like, it would have been at least a star rating higher had the ending not happened and pissed me off so much. And that would be Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz. I'm holding it upside down. Uh, I gave this book two stars because of the freaking ending that should not have happened like that. It only happened because, gasp, we need something dramatic. Let's have this thing almost happen, but not. And it pissed me off so much. I was like, nope, 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 nope. The book is two stars and uh, has a sequel coming up. I'm going to read it because I ha I'm, I'm having a video planned for like June, but it like requires me to be, well, June because I'm estimating on when. Because this the sequel to this is coming up, then another book is coming up that I have to read, and then, which is 600 pages. So if I get both of them in May, it'll be at least June before this video comes around. And you'll see what it is when I post it. But yeah, um, the ending ruined this book for me, and I hated it, and they like drug this book on Goodreads. I was like, this book is a fan fiction. <laughs> Oh, the musical. And nothing really historical. <laughs> okay, I mean, I was, I was enjoying it and I thought it was kind of fun, but like, it was, but then the ending happened and it pissed me off. Okay. Which character do you wish was not killed off? Generally, I don't care if a character is killed off. I'm like, no, they died. How sad. Um, and then... Like, I mean, I get it, but then the characters that I don't, that I was upset was killed off was Dobby. <laughs> the typical answer, Dobby and Fred. Yeah, that made me sad when Fred died. Yeah. I was very sad when Fred died. Um, what are some of your bookish pet peeves? care do whatever you want with your books they're your books you own them I'm not the book police I don't really have pet peeves I'm literally like the chillest person ever when it comes to books um what are some books you feel should have more recognition okay I filmed this earlier and then like I literally like crawled away to go get it and I'm only doing it because this again because whatever I have time to make a better video with me not crawling across the floor. Uh, that would be Rebel Mechanics by Shana Svenston. I like this. I've never seen another person on booktube that has read this. And if you have, let me know because I enjoy this. It's supposed to be a four-part series. And uh, I still haven't read the third part because I'm lazy. It's over there in my TBR pile. I was excited when I came out, and then I ordered it, and I still haven't picked it up. Um, yeah. You should all read this. It takes place in the 1800s. It's steampunk, and it's alternate history. Which is basically like, what if this event never happened? So it's basically, what if the American Revolution never happened? Okay. Honestly, when I was reading the first book... I was reading it and I was like, this, what did I compare it to? I forgot what I compared it to, but I compared it to something else. And I told my friend about it and they're like, yeah, it kind of does sound like something you compared it to. I'm like, yeah, I know, right? So like steampunk instead of New York. But yeah, it's like, what if British, 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 British magic kept the American Revolution from ever occurring? Yay! Whoops. Hey, go over there. Um, as I slide it across the floor. And then, number eight, because I'm gonna keep in track. What are your thoughts on censorship by banning books? Don't ban books. Don't censor books. Instead, have an open discussion. Okay, if you have, yeah, if you have to ban a book... Take a look at your own personal life. I feel like, what about this book makes me feel threatened that teenagers 
where other people shouldn't read it. Take a look at your own personal life, first of all. You're like, why do I not want this book to be read? Hmm. For me, banning books means, oh, I want to read that book! <laughs> why is it banned? Let me read it! <laughs> oh. It, does, it has the opposite effect. Like, I remember when Harry Potter was coming out. And I remember that was big. It was like, schools are banning Harry Potter because of witchcraft. And it's like, what? First of all, that's like the stupidest reason to ban a book. I mean, being a kid's book for some <laughs> That's stupid. I just remember it. It's like, what? And I had a friend who legit wasn't allowed to read it. That was wild. Um, but yeah, if a kid's old enough to read a book that's like at their grade level and they want to read it, let them read it. Don't ban a book if you feel like you have to be like, this book must never get read. Take a look at your own personal life and see what's going on. And for other books with like other hard hitting topics, like, you know, I don't know. I can't think of any, uh, but off the top of my head, but like have an open discussion about it like with someone else and be like well this worries me that teenagers reading about this it's like well maybe you can use it as a teaching moment and see yeah that's all i have to say about that yeah yay <laughs> we'll see you guys later bye